Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the former Citizen TV news anchor Hussein Mohammed has finally secured a new job at the Deputy President William Samuel Ruto's office. <laughs> and this is what the Deputy President shared on his Facebook page after receiving Hussein Mohammed, if you allow me to read. Hussein Mohammed, renowned TV journalist, has been appointed head of communication in the William Ruto presidential campaign. Welcome to the Hustler team. That is the Deputy President receiving Hussein Mohammed. Now, Dennis Tumbi has been working as the communication strategist at the office of the Deputy President after President Uru Kenyatta fired him from the State House. So Itumbi has been doing all the job for the UDA party. And every time he has been coming out, he has been speaking the mind of UDA or the deputy president. And the presence of Hussein Mohammed is a clear indication that Dennis Itumbi is being replaced. <laughs> Dennis Itumbi and Apoteza Kazi. And the question we are asking ourselves on this punchline today. What could be the possible reason why William Ruto is finding it good to replace Dennis Itumbi at this time? That is what we want to try and answer. But before we go deep into that, a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once we release a video like this one, we will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much any conditional support again i'm requesting you to give this video thumbs up so that youtube can recommend our video to more viewers or larger audience back to our discussion now number one ruto has never trusted the people of mount kenya region to be part of his inner circle organization <laughs> and this can be traced even to the past activities sometimes back when ruto was having a high level meeting at current there was a time he locked out the members of parliament from mount kenya region they never knew that ruto was having a meeting he required to some guys from rift valley region akina murkomen and the team and there was a kind of a protest then from that time he changed how he was doing his operations so this is a clear confirmation that ruto is not going to trust anyone from mount kenya region to be part of his top leadership because he has secret that he feel they should not get out and he think that the people of Mount Kenya can be compromised in one way or another to give out the information <laughs> that is why Dennis Itumbi is being eh, replaced and you can see Itumbi has been so much useful to William Ruto <laughs> Just simply because he was able to get out Nasasa Indo in Mekwatu Kazia legislatures from the Mount Kenya region. The biggest job that they are doing or they have been doing is to insult President Huru Kenyatta <laughs> and the ODM leader to some extent. So that has been the biggest task that Ruto wanted these people from Mount Kenya region to do for him. And Dennis Itumbi has been doing that job very nicely. Unfortunately, Ruto is realizing that President Uhuru Kenyatta is not his competitor in this 2022 general election. So the person he should be focusing on is Raila Molodinga and his agenda. So for that reason, Dennis Tume does not add any value to that. That's a Kaziyake Elisha. <laughs> he no longer needs anyone to insult President Uhuru Kenyatta. Because now no one is going to buy into that as of now. Instead, people are waiting to see the manifesto of UDA party. Then number three, Dennis Itumbi has been giving out information on his Hustler National Intelligence Bureau, <laughs> that platform, as a leakage of classified information from State House. Those cabinet meetings. So, a letter, a letter, something that has leaked out. 
until to some extent people have come to realize that what Dennis Itumbi has been feeding public with is not reliable information, it is a guesswork. To some extent it can turn out to be true, but to some other extent it turned out to be a fake information. So for that reason, Dennis Itumbi had lacked credibility in the eyes of Kenyans. As of late, no one has been believing on what Itumbi has been typing or coming out in a press conference. No one has been buying to what Dennis Itumbi has been giving people as of late. And William Ruto has interest in 2022 general election. For that reason, he's not going to sit back while Itumbi is wasting him in one way or another. Because no one is no, longer, no one is listening to Dennis Itumbi. <laughs> no one is buying into what he's feeding the public with. So, Ometukulia Kama fake news. And for that reason, William Ruto has to look for someone of the caliber of Hussein Muhammad. Hussein Muhammad is a journalist who has a respect and a good reputation in the eyes of Kenyans. Even when he was exiting the, the TV station, many people were not happy because they were still enjoying how Hussein Muhammad was posing question to the politicians. <laughs> so he's a credible guy. That's why William Ruto needed the service of Hussein Muhammad. And even if we try to compare Dennis Itumbi to Hussein Muhammad, all of these guys are journalists. Dennis Itumbi is a journalist. But Hussein Muhammad look more credible to Dennis Itumbi. If Hussein Muhammad will come out to address people, they can believe in what he's saying. Rather than Dennis Itumbi, people will see Dennis Itumbi and they understand this one is a propagandist. <laughs> Passing out propaganda. So Ruto understands that with Dennis Itumbi, he's going to mess him out. That's why a replacement has come as quick as possible. Then number four, like many other politicians, Ruto has a habit of use and dump. <laughs> as long as he needs your service, Ruto even can go ahead to pay you to deliver the service. And when he no longer needs your service, he dump you and go ahead. Because look at this situation. Dennis Itumbi was just beaten the other day. We don't know if it was true really or it was a frame up. But let us assume it was true because we saw him even visiting him in the hospital. So Itumbi is still nursing the injuries. But before he get back to the office, he just see in the social media that now a bigger office, bigger than what he has been handling, has been created and someone has been planted in that office. Meaning, if Itumbi get back to the office after he has recovered, he has someone that is going to be reporting to and not reporting directly to, to, sorry, to the Deputy President William Samuel Ruto. Now, if Itumbi want to reach out to Ruto, he has to do it through Hussein Muhammad. Because now Hussein Muhammad is the one in charge of communication <laughs> and not the fake news that has been coming out. So meaning Ruto has decided now to seriously start planning his serious campaign going forward. And he has found it that he is not going to rely on Dennis Tumbi. If really he wants Kenya to take him serious on his campaign. So that tells you that finally Ruto has decided that he is going to take his campaign so much seriously. And he will not use people that he has used in the past and as of now they have lost credibility. Because if it's not the situation of use and dump, I think it was just good if he could have a meeting with the Tumbi and outline out the new strategy they want to use going forward so that they can gain credibility as they move far forward. Because many people believe that what Dennis Tumbi has been leaking out, probably, it has been information that he has been getting directly from President, from Deputy President William Ruto and to some extent, what they have discussed that he should pass out. That is the truth. 
But if course Ruto did not have an intention of having a tumbi so much after uh, to his main campaign, that's why it has been very easy for him to dump him and take a new person. So what to a Mount Kenya region? If you think Ruto has a bigger interest in you, look at the situation of Dennis Tumbi and the many other individuals. Why is it that the inner circle organization of William Ruto does not involve most of the people from Mount Kenya region? That is the question. I want you to answer me through the comment section. Please, I'm requesting you. And lastly, Ruto is going to a coalition with the other political parties. From what we saw yesterday in Musalem Dabadis ANC NDC, Ford Kenya ANC, Vyama Zanyamekwa Kita Village Party, Tribal Party. <laughs> I don't know now he has impressed them, impressed them. So going forward, Ruto need a serious person in the office who can help on doing such things. Because now, the serious campaign is going to start from February. So the formalization and the formation of this coalition need serious people. And Ruto, in his own wisdom, has found that Dennis Tumbi is not that guy. That's why Hussein Mohammed Amekuja to bring credibility in UDA. Such like that even if they will go to negotiate somewhere else, eh, at least Hussein is coming with credibility, but put it to be here. And then he got to a meeting, a easy coalition. How even will these other people take him? The way he has been passing out information. They can't take him seriously. Now, and that is politics. So you don't need necessarily to put much trust in these politicians. They will use you when they need, and when the hour of dumping come, they does it without blinking an eye. So support them, but much trust on them. <laughs> don't go that direction. Otherwise, that's my view. I don't know what you think about this, but we can have a continuation of this conversation through the comment section. I would love to read your comments. Otherwise, I had informed you in the past clip that I lost my sister, younger sister, on 15th of this month. So, I will be traveling to my village <laughs> for the burial. She will be re laid to rest on 29th of this month. So, Kesho, Mimi Nataremuka Nyumbani, and I have decided to take leave. So, sit kwa Hapa ku record videos. Lakini we are going to try so that we continue analyzing the politics. So thank you so much for always being around for me. Ukinikosa kidogo, we welewe tu mambo iko hivo. But I know God will provide a way so that we can have a continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to, up to this far. May good God bless you. And see you in our next video. Lakini kama uja subscribe, tafadhal. Jaribu tu subscribe na weke hiyo bell button on so that once you release a new video, unaipata. And in that way, you will be also helping us to grow this platform. I see we are almost turning 10,000 subscribers. And I want to thank each and everyone who have subscribed, everyone who watches this channel. It is because of you. We have been able to go this much far. And I'm trusting now we are on our road to 20,000. By grace of God and through your input, we will reach there. See you in our next video.